Hi everyone, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Season 15 has brought along a lot of interesting buffs and nerfs for the table for players to try out and test. A lot of the new adjustments are designed towards preparing us for Witch Queen and the new threats we will be up against. Fusions have received a readjustment for how they work, as all decks have been reworked with new or added perks, different weapon frames have been boosted across the board, etc. But one thing that has been introduced which I never thought would happen is the introduction of unlimited primary ammo. I wasn't so much hesitant around the change, but I was indeed surprised that Destiny of all games would take this path since Bungie likes us to use everything within our arsenal. This in many ways still retains that ideology since now we'll never run out of primary ammo in endgame content and our secondary and heavy won't feel as scarce as before. This unlimited ammo change also buffs certain weapons and perks currently in game. Subsidence for example works over each kill made which will partially reload your weapon. Before, the one issue you had to deal with was running out of ammo too fast in certain environments, but now we can fire a weapon with little to no regrets. SMGs, primary shotguns, sidearms etc all had the issues of running out of ammo quickly in PvE or PvP environments because of low reserves. Exotics such as Sweet Business would eat through ammo like butter and made it limited for certain environments. Now we could produce butter like a dairy farm down the road. In many ways the unlimited ammo provided have improved certain items in game because of the reduced ammo and reserves they had. However one weapon I want to cover is the Devil's Ruin Exotic Sidearm as this unique weapon has one of the strongest exotic traits available for end game and the new ammo buff means you have now unlimited rounds of fire. The Devil's Ruin is a 300 RPM exotic sidearm with a unique perk called Close the Gap which allows the user to charge the weapon and release a full beam blast which uses up the entirety of the weapon's ammo. This beam has built in unstoppable rounds, so great to use in endgame nightfalls etc. This built in beam is great as a single damage against all types of combatants and is mainly the core part of the weapon that players use instead of these single fire rounds. As the Devil's Ruin is marked as a primary weapon, it receives the unlimited ammo buff the same way as other primaries do, which means you can use and abuse the weapon's special trait as much as you like. This is great as the beam is pretty powerful on its own for any content you are in, but now you can use it all the time and not worry about ever running out of ammo ever again. Of course, certain encounters may require you to use something else and something more impactful in the long run as the beam alone won't make you invincible. We can however build onto this and create something worth using. Here you can see a titan build based on the exotics charge beam feature and how I will expand on it further. I have the code of Siegebreaker subclass so I can create sunspots which will enhance my ability energy regen and also provide me with an extra damage boost while I'm in them. I then have the surprise attack mod with some charge with light mods to further enhance damage to ridiculous levels. We then have frontal might for that 25% weapon damage boost and the elemental orders mod for creating wells for us and our team. Lastly we have the path of the burning step exotic for even more damage as it can stack with frontal might and cause third degree burns. You now have a build capable of not only one shotting players in PvP with ease, but in PvE you could easily take on mini bosses with one full blast and repeat as many times as you like. It seems pretty stupid overpowered when testing it out, but it does have its drawback. After each burst it does require the user to reload it for you to repeat again, which is quite long. Luckily we do have the sidearm holster mod to help if you are a warlock or titan, or you can use your hunter to dodge reload it. However, both of these two options still require time to pull off and the moment you need to reload to do so means you will need to rely on your secondary to mop up while you do wait. In PvE this is fine as you can use cover to protect yourself but PvP this could lead to a very disastrous outcome, depending. Overall, the ammo buff has allowed Devil's Room to become the Hammer of Dawn from Gears of War and I'm truly loving it. Remember, this isn't the only weapon that benefits from this buff as there are plenty more others who do so as well. I'll be sure to cover them, just so you know first. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny related content if you do that type of stuff, link is down below. And once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.